Welcome to Awkward Blue Boutique. Sorry that I have been away from YouTube for a while because um, if you guys watched my last update, I touched upon why I was away for a while. But today video, I just want to come on to show you guys how I'm going to be preparing to open my second Etsy shop. I am uh, going to digital products and getting away from the physical um, the physical business because of my circumstances that I already touched upon in my last live. So if you guys watched my last live, you guys would know what I was talking about. So we're just going to go straight into the tutorial and I am going to be using Photoshop. Okay, you guys, I know that many of you are probably not familiar with Photoshop or don't have the skill or cannot for Photoshop, but I'm only showing you guys my processes and what works for me. And if you guys do have Photoshop, maybe you guys will learn something. But majority of people I know, they use Canva to design like their Etsy logo or banner. You guys can design like everything on Canva. But the reason I use Photoshop because uh, some of the elements I made myself or I bought like brushes or whatever like that I want to add on. You guys will see when I show you guys the tutorial, okay? So I'm going to turn this around and do a screen record of my laptop okay so we can look at photoshop and see how i design my banner i already did my logo so i'm not gonna touch on the logo but i will show you guys what i did and that i use um illustrator but we're not going to be doing that tutorial because i already did that one so with this photoshop i will show you guys and then i'll give you guys the dimension of the uh, art well, not the artboard, it's um, the Etsy banner size that you need. And, and then you can input that into uh, Canva too if you're using Canva. So you will have like a perfect um, Etsy shop banner. And it's good to have a banner and a logo and make it cohesive so you look professional because I notice a lot of um, people that are starting out Etsy, like they get so excited to open an Etsy shop and they just start listing things without like the preparation. So I am not going to do that. I'm going to be preparing. And so when I start listing, I already have everything on my hand so I can just list and list everything and then upload everything at once and then continuously upload later on to when I have more product. So yeah, so that's the whole video I did today. So let's head over to Photoshop, you guys. Hey, welcome back, you guys. So we're gonna head on to Photoshop, okay? So I have Photoshop here and Adobe here, and then I also have it down here, so I'm just going to open up. It's already open right here. So let me grab my little screen record here, see if I, I don't think that's not gonna work. <laughs> so you guys are just not gonna see my face in the video, so you can see the whole screen. So anyways, I did um, an example here already. I'm going to do something. I'm just going to do the same thing like this. I just want to show you guys this is how I use Photoshop to create it. So before you start, you probably should choose your font for your um, branding and your color brand. So I went with like this ram rainbow. I was going to say rainbow. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. But yeah, so I chose this kind of like pastel, kind of light, um, not like the bow, like the red and the primary color rainbow. Like these are just more pastel rainbow. So that's going to be my brand color. And then I like a little bit hints of gold. So I add some gold here. And then this logo, I designed it in Adobe Illustrator. So I'll show you guys that like in another video. but. I'm not going to be like showing you guys the whole process because it took me a while to draw. It took me like a whole day to draw this. I actually draw this inside of um, Adobe Illustrator. So anyways, so first of all, have your font. I would choose like, I like to have like a, a script font and then a non-script font so they can see like um, what my shot is about. So. I just chose Aqua Bloom, the same business name as my physical embroidery shop that you guys been seeing the last year that I was working on, like on my 
embroidered t-shirts. So because I already have a business with the name Orco Bloom, so I'm not going to be opening like a second um, business name just from a digital shop. Like I think it's a, like you can have multiple Etsy shop use the same business um, entity. So I just decided to go with that. And then since this is going to be a digital download shop, I just put Alka Bloom Digital Design Studio. And I went with studio because <laughs> I call my little space here studio. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new artboard. Okay, so we're going to go to file, new, and we need the dimension of the Etsy banner. Okay, so I'm going to give it to you guys right now. It's 300, it's not 300, 3,360 is the width. And then the height is 840. So I know I'm using Photoshop, but you guys, you guys can use the dimension inside of Canva and use elements in Canva. But the reason I'm using this is because I am using um, things that I designed and I've just been working with Photoshop. So I find it like fun and, you know, easy to, to work with. I mean, Canva is easy too, but you know, since I have all the elements inside of Photoshop, I just decided to work with Photoshop. So I'm going to use RGB color in the color profile. I chose this one. So I think most people recommend this one if you're doing for a web. So this is for a web since it's a Etsy shop banner. And then I, th I think I'll just do 300 DPI, even though this, this is not something like people is going to be downloading anything, but I just wanted to be 300 DPI to make it look clear. So I'm just going to hit create. So now it shows me the banner like this. So I'm going to lock this background. So to get this little box in the middle, you have to just use this little shape tool right here. This is the rectangle shape tool. So your, uh, if you have Photoshop, your layout might be a little bit different because it's what you decide to open or add on to like this, like the side here or the side over here. Oh. Let's go back to Photoshop again. Okay, so it depends on what you, you know, open up over here and these are your tools. And then sometimes people like to put all the tools over here or whatever, you know, so just how you, what makes sense to you. So just gonna click the box here and then I'm just gonna drag it across. Like that. I don't have like an exact size. I just went, but I think the dimensions up here. <laughs> you guys can see up here. Um, I'm gonna make it a fill. So I'm going to be choosing. I'll just choose black for right now, so I can see what I'm doing. And stroke will be none. And then. The thing about um, Adobe, you see the pink line across, it shows me that it's already centered with my artboard. So I'm going to leave it there. And then to create this like pastel rainbow stripe, um, I made the digital paper. It's a digital background that I made inside of Adobe uh, Photoshop. Inside this program, I made the background itself, okay? So I already saved that as a JPEG into a folder. So what I have to do is um, I'm going to create a new layer. So create new layer, click this plus icon. I'm not going to like just embed it in here because it will be a little bit pixelated since this artboard is a little bit tiny and the background that I made was like 12 by 12 inch. So it's pretty large. So 
what I will do is I'm going to be opening up into a separate place. So I save it onto my desktop. I already put everything into this. So I can just open up for you guys. So see, I made the background ready. So open up. So it's, it's in a different um, window. So this is my project right here. And then this is a different window. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate it. And then it says document right here. I'm going to be choosing the untitled one. That's the project that I, we're currently working on. So when you do that, it's going to be copying this image into the document. See, if I click right here, right here, you guys, it's already over here, you see? Uh, so I don't even need this layer one, so I can delete this layer one. So it's already right here, but I have to drag it down below the rectangle so you guys can see the rectangle. So in Photoshop, it works in layer. If you guys have used uh, Procreate, you know, like whatever you put under, it's what's going to be in, in the background. Okay, so on top is the black rectangle here, and that's how you will see things that are on top. Okay, so if you want things to go on top, then you have to put it above the background. So the background be in the background, and then whatever on top go on the top layer. So these are called your layers. It's over here. So I already have like the box created and then the background, okay? So now I just have to choose my text. So I I can close this window now. I don't need to save it. So don't save. So let's go to my project. So I want to create the black um black line. Well not the black like the pink line right here. So to create that pink line, you just click the rectangle box again, but you have to click this little icon again to bring this um, bar up here so you guys can add a stroke. It's called a stroke. I already have some of my color here already since I was doing the first one on my own and then doing this as a tour for you guys. So click on the stroke and then you just move it up. I think I would do about like 45 or 50 pixel. It should uh, 50 look like it's way too big. So let's just do 40. Okay, 40 is good. So now it looked like that. And then I think my box is a little bit uh, too narrow so let me um see if i can change the dimension again yes i can by doing that so you can change the dimension by going to property and then change the height right here okay and the width I'm just gonna keep the width that same and then I'm going to be clicking this again to make it center again with the pink line across showing that it's already center and text you guys can use um, whatever fonts you guys want I bought all these font from creative um, market and make sure you guys have I think since you're not selling it, I think you guys can use the font, but I want to have a commercial use. So I bought a bunch of them on Creative Market and Creative Fabrica. And the font that I'm going to be using is Samantha. It's the Samantha script font. It's going to be my, it's going to be my name, business name. And then this one is called, the one that says Digital Design Studio is, uh, called money P penny so i like the font because it's just clean simple so people can read that better i think you, you guys still read the script font aqua bloom but i chose the fancy font for that because i want it to have like some fanciness to my um business name since my logo is also fancy over here too so i think it go well together 
And let's go back over here. So for text, you just hit text, the text. You can just hit T on your keyboard or click right here for text. Okay, so just hit T or click the T right here. So I have to change the font to um, Samantha. And I have to change my rectangle color because this rectangle sense, I need it to be white so I can see my text. Okay. Let's go to text again. Let's just delete that because I don't know where that A went. <laughs> it probably went somewhere. Let me see. Okay. So hit the text again. Just going to write. Oh, the text is also white. That's the reason why I'm not seeing it. So just going to do it again. Make it black. You know, I have a lot of things loading, probably. Photoshop is kind of slow for me. So I think I have too many things. But I don't, I don't see my text. It's probably somewhere over here. Sorry, you guys, I am still really, really new. Only been touching this for like a month. So I might not be like an expert and I think my rectangle is too long. I'm, I have to lock my rectangle. Maybe that's why it's uh, messing me up. So I will lock the layer, lock it, and then hit my text. There, I think it was like way too long. So, awkward blue. Zoom in a little bit. Gonna make this text box a little bit smaller. It is, the problem is a little bit complicated. So I would suggest like if you guys are not too technical go with a Canva because look I am struggling a little bit like when I do it on my own it seems like it was easier okay so I'm going to bring the life here because I want like the little curvy M here and then that A right here and then I'm going to hit the text again and choose the next font right here. And I'm gonna go down to like 72 pixel, 72 point. And this is my subheader. It is a little bit big, so I have to, I have to make it go down a little bit in size. Okay, there, I think there are six should be fine. This one, it's a little bit big too, so I should make it 72. Okay. 
it's like that's how you align things in Photoshop. It shows you this pink line. Let me see if it's center. Okay, I think I want it to be sitting like right there. I don't want this to be centered because I am adding a little bit text like this on the side. And I went with digital downloads. I'm just putting digital downloads because I have, I plan to sell like multiple, like probably different digital products. So you guys will see my digital products um, on a later video. So yeah, and plus I don't want to limit myself to just like if, if you're doing like planner printable, I just don't want to limit myself to that because I am designing a bunch of whole things, testing things out and see what works for my shop. So yeah, so I don't want to limit myself. So I put digital download instead of like planner printable or whatever. Okay, so digital design studio. I'm just gonna go quickly with you guys because I already finished design. I'm just showing you guys just some really quick trick. Let me make this a little bit smaller too. I don't think I like it to be small. <laughs> it needs to be um because it is the highlight. This one sh will be a little bit smaller. This is a subheading, so it will be a little bit smaller. Okay, and then let's see what do I do here. Okay, so I'm just gonna add my little icon here. So to do that, I really I mean, so I'm just gonna say place embed. You don't want to place link because when they link to something, and if when you move that uh, file, it's Adobe Illustrator, not uh, Adobe Photoshop, not going to be able to locate it. So it will always pop, have a pop up or something saying the file is missing. So you want to do place embed. And here it is. I'm just going to put it right here. Oh, that's center. I mean, this design's a little bit different than the one It's a little bit different, so I'll see which one I like. Yeah, so I added a shadow down here. So this is called Drop Shadow and Adobe Photoshop. So what, what you do is click on this text and double click over here on the text layer. When you double click, it will bring up a layer style like that, and you just click on drop shadow. So I will choose I choose multiply and then I think 10 to 15 a little opacity is good or 13 is good so I think that looked good already and then um, to get this little gradient look in the back I just click on my rectangle layer right here and then give it a gradient layer see I already did the gradient so it's uh, it's already here but to make that you just um, click on this right here and then choose your color so I chose my two color already and that's how I created the gradient 
okay so that's how you add a gradient if you want to do like kind of like an ombre you can do three color four color i just went with two so click ok and then it's really easy you guys it's almost done and then this less text I don't like how this text keep on pairing like it keep on pairing like that super long it wasn't like that earlier <laughs> but anyways I think it's because I was clicking on the rectangle that's why yeah, the rec that rectangle layer is like super long they make it super long. that's the reason why shouldn't be clicking on that um, And so change the font to I'm going to change this to a cute Oscar or like this cute font I want this shot to be like I like pastel vibrant color um, it's not going to reflect like all of my product but this is my signature color brand that I am branding this shop with so most of the product will have this color too but then many of them will just be other different color because i do want variety i want to attract different customer audiences so yeah, it's not just going to be rainbow but yeah i just decided to go with that rainbow pastel because i like that color and it just really pop and you guys will see when i show you guys the the product that i will be selling in this shop okay so how to make the text a little bit shorter I mean not sure smaller or like 36 yeah 36 is good Maybe let's go 30 first so it's not super big oh. keep on clicking that so I'm going to be locking that so it doesn't move on me there if you keep like trying if when you try when, when this word like real close to this have a hard time grabbing it so I just lock this other layer so you see I can't touch it anymore when it's locked and then if you want to work on it again just unlock the layer so how I just add this um, little text right here it's still a bit too big oh, when should go 24 okay one purchase to instant download three print or use it digitally it's proud to move these a little bit I'm gonna have to unlock the aqua bloom layer so I can move it, move these a little bit. So I'm basically done already. The last thing is just adding the gold uh, foil or gold confetti. Um, this gold confetti, I bought this brush. It was a really fun package. I bought it from Creator Couture. You guys can, if you're really technical, you guys can create your own brushes, whatever, like. Photoshop is just amazing but you know I just buy it because it's easier it's already done but you still have to learn how to install it how to work with it too so it took me like a couple hours just to figure that out so I figured that out for you guys already so it came with these these are called layer style so these will be masking onto the brush and creating that confetti gold glitter right here so 
what I do is click on this brush icon right here. And if you don't see your brush brush um, over here, because you need to open the brush setting to bring this up. So from Creative Couture, they have, if you buy this a package, this package called Instant Glam, and if you buy this um, package, it comes with all these layer styles over here. And then it comes with all these brush. So this is all the brush that it comes with. All different kinds of brush. But I am going to be using just the confetti one. Um, I am an affiliate with this company. So if you guys like um, to play with like these brushes or make something like glamorous or something cool with it, you guys can use my affiliate link in the description box. I'll put it down. Um, yeah, I will, in the future, I will show you guys what I'm going to be using. I'm with it too. Like I might be using them to create like backgrounds for just like how I made this uh, rainbow background. So if you guys want to see how I do that in the future, we will do video tutorial on that and go a little bit deeper into using these brushes. I really love her product. She is like a Photoshop goddess or something. <laughs> she create all these she has a YouTube, so if you get if you want to see how she used them, um, she do like quick tutorial or tutorial here and there. So if you guys want to see how she uses, these, check out her YouTube. Her YouTube is called Creator Couture. So Creator, I think it's a Creator Couture, C O U T U R E. So Creator Couture. Here on YouTube. It's it's easier. Um, she let you use it commercially as long as you don't sell the file. You can use it to make a, like projects. So like what we're doing here, like making a project of a different background or just adding like some elements into like this little background right here. Like I'm not selling her files, whatever. So that's, you guys know with digital download, you're not supposed to be selling, reselling or sub or whatever. Um, but you can use these elements to help you make a new art and sell that art. So she already did all that work and you just uh, use it to make your own work if you want to sell on um, digital products. So yeah, I'll show you guys how it works. So let's go to the brush. I am choosing the, this is the, um, it's called Confetti Gun One Flat. So I'm using this one. There's a bunch of other confetti one, but I think I like this one the most. And then you have to make sure you're choosing black and white as your color right here. So the, the white here is like your foreground or background, whatever. I don't, I forgot what it's called, but yeah. And make sure the top is black and the opacity is at 100. Because earlier I didn't know that the opacity was like at 30% and everything came out like super like light and I was confused, but it was the opacity, okay? And then to use it, you cannot use it on like the text layer so you have to create a different layer because when I click on the text layer, see the brush is giving me like a um, stop, like an X mark. Like you see this icon right here, it says you're not allowed to use that brush on this layer. So you have to create a different layer. So if you click on this layer, this is a new layer that I just created, then I'm able to use it and the brush is super tiny. It's so like, I'm going to push it up. So I'm using the bracket key on my keyboard to make it a little bit bigger. I think that should be a good size. And then I'm choosing my layer style right here. So she has all these layer style of gold, different kind of gold background here. And the one that I like was, let's, let's try this one that's called Doobie Encrusted. So all you have to do is just click your background. So there we go, you guys. That's all you have to do. That's how you create the little gold confetti dot. I think that's too much. <laughs> and if you want to undo that, just uh, command Z, command Z. I think it might be a little bit too big. Let me go back down. It should be small like that. There, I think that looked much nicer, small. I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to cover the rainbow too much because of course I want the rainbow to show a little bit. 
These are just like little confetti. Things that are like sprinkled everywhere. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. So that's all you guys. That's how you create a brand for your Etsy shop. If you guys are opening like a brand new Etsy shop or even a second or a third shop, I think, I don't know how, what's the limit, but I noticed people have probably like four or three shops, especially if you're doing digital download and you're doing like multiple products, you don't want everything to jumble together. I am also gonna do a probably like a third one for my embroidery. Um, design uh i just really i thought about like i should just focus on the embroidered design but i really like photoshop stuff like i did a bunch of things in photoshop and i was super in love and also adobe illustrator so i was like you know why not i open this first because this i don't need to be testing things out like embroidery so i can do this first and then i will work a little bit on the side with my embroidery and then probably after baby i will um you guys know I, I'm having a baby soon too, so probably after the baby, then I will uh, do my embroidery shop, but I'm gonna go with this first. And so I will announce that later. And then future videos, I will update you guys how this shop goes because I just did a little bit research on it and I don't know how it's gonna go, but I just super enjoy and loving the whole process of designing on Adobe. So hopefully it will go well, but if you guys are curious, we will do income update and then we will i'll show you guys how to play around with these um like brush and assets from critical tour because she i bought like the big bundle from her and it's all of her like whole shop uh store i bought like all the product in her shop as a big bundle so yeah and i think um I think people use some these kind of like elements to create like if you guys see sublimation like those mug or sublimation um, tumbler I think people use um, something like Photoshop or something like that to create like these swirl or marble background you know so with Photoshop you can do all that it's like an art canvas or something you can just drop ink without making a mess like physical mess so that's why I like the digital um, art because you don't have to bring paint or whatever make a mess so yeah anyways um that's the future of my youtube i'll do more tutorial for you guys a little bit of adobe a little bit on um on uh embroidery so it'll be i was planning the future probably do one two tutorial a month uh, one's gonna be on photoshop or adobe illustrator and then one will be on um, the brilliant software because I still love um, embroidery and that's the whole channel started with embroidery and then I know that I am going a little bit away from it doing digital stuff like Adobe and Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop but I'm still gonna keep up with the embroidery and share that with you guys so I hope you guys still stay along the journey and follow me and probably learn some things I'm, I'll be teaching you guys. Um, I don't know if it's going to be helpful for you guys, but hopefully it does. <laughs> but yeah, but if you guys feel like I am changing too many ideas or are going like off of what my original idea is and um, you guys don't, you guys feel free to like, you know, don't watch those videos like Photoshop, whatever, if you guys think that it's um, going away from embroidery and you guys don't like it. But I know it is going a little bit away from it, but I love doing this. So I thought, you know, maybe some of you might be curious of how people uh, do things on Photoshop. So yeah. And also curious about, you know, building a Etsy shop from scratch. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. And hopefully, next year or just a couple of months after I open this job, um, we can see like progress, okay? So we, we will open an Etsy shop together. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys the opening because there's some privacy information that I have to put down. So I'm, I'm 
going to be open it on my own, but I will show you guys how to list and you know, I use a um, tool that can do bulk listing and I will be sh showing that to you guys. I was thinking doing a live, so yeah, I think this video is pro it's probably going to come after the live already, so the live will be done. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's it you guys, if you guys um, have any questions, just leave it in a comment or you guys know how to find me. I usually I like Instagram messages because I check Instagram more than anything else. So if you guys want to do private messaging, you guys can do private mes messaging with me on Instagram. Yeah, anyways, you guys have a good night or a good day wherever you guys are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video and next tutorial or live. <laughs> I'm my schedule is just really crazy like I don't have a consistent schedule with YouTube yet but I am learning to eventually like have a consistent schedule so I know I'm gonna dedicate like a certain day but now I'm just trying to figure things out be a little bit more consistent for you guys so you guys take care bye everybody Oh,